I just want to give a little disclaimer right in the beginning of this video. I'm extremely tired. I've tried several attempts to do the voice work on this. And if I end up screwing this one up, I'm just going to throw some music down and you can end up watching uh, what I do with some music. So with that said, I am doing a wood burning technique today called Shaui Shau Shuji Ban. I think that is how you pronounce it right. Shau Shuji Ban. If not, uh, please leave a comment if you know the actual pronunciation, and I believe that it is translated in Japanese to burn cedar board. However, I am not using a cedar board in this video. I am actually working with a Douglas fir uh, 2x4. This is going to be part of a bench, and um, you know the bench is going to end up being destroyed in a couple of months just from the, what's going to be on it and what I'm going to be doing. But you know, so if you guys knew what I was going to be using this bench for, you'd probably be asking me, well, what are you even doing, you know, the finish work for or something like this for? But, you know, I do it for you guys. So that way you can kind of see what the, what the uh, you know, this new technique and uh, how it works with, uh, the dye, with, with wood dye. So I am working with keto liquid alcohol dye. Uh, you can see the kit in the back. And this is going to be the keto liquid blue dye that I'm working with. The concentration was 12 ounces of acetone and one teaspoon of the keto liquid blue dye. Now I did saturate the cotton cloth, which I'm using for the applicator, and I applied a couple of drops, like two to three drops of the blue dye concentrate directly to the cotton cloth applicator, and then I apply that to the wood. It just really drives the color in much faster, and I thought for some reason that the Douglas fir was gonna end up having a lighter coloring to it um, but I was actually mistaken the Douglas fir took the the dye stain very well uh, absorbed very nicely and it went a little bit darker than I originally intense it, in, intended it to do if you notice on that board there it has a, a little notch out if this is going to be a good piece I would probably shim that notch up and then color some epoxy resin and then pour it into there uh, I think that would end up looking really cool but um, you know like I said this is just going to be on a bench so there you can see where I just, uh, you know, dipped my cloth into the dye stain and then I applied a couple of drops of the concentrate to it. Um, as I get in a little bit further, you're going to end up seeing, well, you may have seen it in the beginning, uh, the bench, uh, just a little bit of it. Uh, so I didn't want it to go too dark because I wanted to kind of keep the color similar. I also did a chipboard as the main portion of the bench for the, works, for the workspace. And that ended up turning out a little bit darker as well. So, um, you know, I... I'm just trying to end up showing a, a little technique as well as uh, you know it turned out really nice overall so but you can see here that it ended up going a little bit darker if I would have sealed that up I think it would have had a really nice deep sapphire blue color but uh, I was looking for a little bit lighter more royal blue uh, stain coloring so I ended up taking the acetone for some reason I thought I used rubbing alcohol but I guess I did take the acetone and wipe it back uh, so I just wiped some of the, the surface dye off with the acetone and um, if you're working with soft wood like the Douglas fir or the pine you want to watch out because sometimes you can get these little splinters like I just had a little tear out right there uh, just from wiping it down with the acetone rig so I just took the soldering brush and blended it in I color filled that area and then blended it in with the cotton cloth and wiped it down with the acetone area again just to try to blend it all in so that's what it looks like with the with just the dye stain on there it's probably not fully dried but acetone evaporates very fast so it's going to dry pretty quick but this is fully dried so you can see it's a little bit darker even with that acetone so i just took the the red scotch bright pad and i worked in some some areas to try to add a little more contrast to have a little bit lighter areas in certain parts uh, by working that red scotch bright pad around and i think it turned out really nice the the scotch bright pad also helps to to lay the dyes out and blend it all in nice the sealer that i'm actually working with is a lacquer it's just a minwax black can lacquer that uh, is a standard gloss yeah and i just uh, use my my tweezers there to pick out some defects and i think that was actually from the red pad itself that got caught in a splinter so just something else to be a little bit aware of that you know when you're working with soft wood Again, this is just a Douglas fir, um, you know, to end up uh, working with the, the 2 by 4 that I'm going to be having. It's just going to be on a, on a cap end, and you'll, you'll see it on the bench. But I chopped this video up pretty bad, so it's going to look like some of it's repeated. But this is with the first coat of, of the lacquer, but you can tell that it just looks absolutely, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It's... Um, in person it's a little bit more vibrant and you'll see that when it's on the bench it uh, kind of all comes together really nicely 
Um, I am working with a, a different camera on here, so I'm hoping that the uh, color is a little bit more true. But, um, you know, from what I'm seeing here in the video editor, it, it's fairly similar in, in color and representation. Uh, in person, I think it's a little bit brighter. If you look on the bottom section of that board right there, it's got almost like a, a bluing, like a steel uh, effect on it. It just really turned out absolutely gorgeous. Um, so... I really hope that this is uh, something that you guys enjoy. If you if you like it, let me know. I can try to do like a purple, maybe a yellow, uh, turquoise with this kind of technique just to kind of see what it looks like. But by no means am I an expert with uh, Shuji Ban. <laughs> this is actually my only second or third time doing this. So, um, you know, it's really simple technique and it turns out absolutely beautiful. There's the chipboard. Uh, I ended up using the, the dye stain and putting the dye concentrate drops onto that chipboard and it turned out absolutely beautiful as well. That very backboard is just a pine 2x4. I did not use the concentrate on there. It was just the, the 12 ounces of acetone and the one teaspoon of the blue dye. So it turned out a little bit lighter and that's kind of where I was trying to be in the middle of between that chipboard and that back 2x4. So I really hope you guys appreciate it and it, you know, let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything. Shao Sugi Ban. Wait, how do you actually really say that? Hold on. As you can see here, I ended up having a tear out of my... Oh, tear out of my... Tear out of... And the torch is acting really wonky. It keeps ending up having a, a, a torch, uh, a yellow a yellow flame. Oh, you know, oh, oh. And the dye that I'm using is Beta. This is with the first coat of the lacquer. And uh, there's going to be some morning up that's going to actually have the finished work of the lacquer. What the? F Translates to burn cedar board, burned cedar board. And the wood that I'm actually working with is Douglas pine. Oh my. Douglas, Douglas fir. Oh my God. I quit. The chipboard actually ended up turning out pretty nice. I ended up using the same technique using the liquid. St oh, are you kidding me? You know, if I would have just left it at this point, you know, it would have probably been a very nice bright blue, uh, or I should say a deep blue. Uh, and if I end up jacking this up, I really do apologize for that. And I screwed it away. Her, not a uh, cedar board. Oh my God, help me. Blow. Why do I keep wanting to call it a Douglas pine? Oh, come on. The process that I'm doing is a wood burning technique called Shoei Shuji Ban. And I believe that's the proper translation. I'm <laughs> not translation. Pronunciation. The ratio that I ended up mixing with this dye stain was one tablespoon or one teaspoon. Oh. Staining pine, oh boy, yo. And the chipboard actually turned out quite, quite beautiful as well. I ended up using the, using the, oh, really, come on, man, really. Shahoga, Shah, Shahu Shugi Ban. Shah, Shahu, oh, you want to burn some wood, pilgrim? Oh.